Breaking news! Recent weight loss revelations leave scientists and the public alike speechless. Plus, it turns out not being offended does not make you immune to diabetes and heart disease. What? Surely not. Apparently so. Also in today's episode, we go back in time and we ask how our ancestors stayed healthy. And quite frankly, we did not expect the foul language and disdain for this new age way of thinking. Hello, my name is Stevie Shoeshaft and I am Robert Rootlong and this is the World Television Federation, WTF. Lifestyle related illnesses are still on the increase with diabetes and heart disease leading the way. Even though the media, retailers and society have normalised obesity and take great measures not to offend anyone. We have a top expert, Mr. James Meaner. The quote he was said was, um, I just don't get it. We've spent billions normalizing obesity so people don't get upset and all our data confirms that this has been a complete success. Less people are being offended and yet diabetes, heart disease and depression have all increased dramatically. Hmm. Lead scientist, Ms. Julia Informed, misinformed says, it's really surprising, but we may have to consider that normalizing obesity and not offending people might not actually save them from these conditions. We will continue to study this using the general public as our guinea pigs. It's the only fair thing to do. The Guinea Pig Appreciation Society tweeted this morning that they are not happy and will follow this study closely. This just in! Previous studies that showed that 30 seconds of high intensity exercise was more effective than 30 minutes steady cardio was actually incorrect. <gasps> it is now 27 and 3 quarter seconds, irrespective of your body weight, diet, exercise, history or medical condition. Well, that's certainly good news for those who don't want to exercise. Mm, indeed, indeed. And our next exciting story is a weight loss revelation. It turns out that scientists were wrong after all. When they look back in time, they realised that all civilizations set up their civilizations next to water. Originally, this was thought they just liked swimming or sailing paper boats. Yes, indeed, and it also looked very, very pretty, especially mm. in the winter time. But this weight loss revelation suggests that, in fact, these civilizations all um, congregated around water because. It's water's actually important for our health and well-being. Hmm. They actually drunk the water. Who'd have thunk it? Hmm. hmm. I think they need to do more studies on this one. Yes. However, if we were to take the science uh, as it stands at the moment, it is actually saying that we should be drinking water for our health, hmm. and this will actually help you maintain a healthy weight. Well, if the scientists say it, it must be true. It doesn't mean they say that you can't go float your boat. This just in! <gasps> Extreme diets don't work after all! No! Well, it says here they do work, but only short term, so they don't work. But once you put all the way back on again, plus a little bit more, you can then repeat the extreme diet, which does work, and then lose the weight again. To prove it, proving it does work, but then leads to overwhelm, stress, and depression, massive weight gain, meaning it doesn't work. But each time you do it, it will work but less and less each time, meaning, well, it does work, but unless you're a moron, it clearly doesn't work. Hmm, interesting, lot to digest there. And with the latest scientific breakthrough with the Marvel movies, we now understand time travel. And we can go back in time using our special device, speaking to our ancestors, Jock McPlop and Bob McTavish back in 1824. Welcome. What's, what's, what's going on there? Some sorcery that is, that is high. So gentlemen, can you give uh, our audience at home a little bit of an insight on how to stay lean back in 1824? Listen, well, how do people stay lean? Lean? Ah, people stay lean all right. There's no neither, there's neither other options. Hey, we are, we're taught for a young age, you're, you're running about searching for food. If you're lucky, you'll find some. Aye, and they, 
and, and staying late, like, it's, it, it's putting on a bit of fat, that's the issue. We're, we're, we're trying to bulk up a wee bit for the winter time. Aye. If you can put a few extra pounds on, that's wealth. That's wealth oh, right aye. there, laddie. Aye. So, so the rich people have got the wee bit excess aye, fat. Aye, because they didn't have to run around so much, did they? Yeah. Well, the new age is slightly different. We're not um, running around for food as such. Food is more readily available. Um, entertainment, and devices, smartphones, televisions, automobiles reduce our need to be moving around. How would you suggest the people of today to solve that issue? What's, what's, what, what's this TV device you're talking about? You've been sitting too close to the fire for too long because the kind of people that do that, that's where they get the wealth. Aye, so you're, you're, you're talking about this crazy stuff. People keep watching TV and they've got, they've got buttons on their hand and they're driving around in these, what, what did you call them, automobiles? Uh, is that like a horse, but not? Ah, it's, it's, it's strange, it's strange. So I guess our advice would be uh, to just get out running a bit more. Stop watching this. In TV, yeah, the malarkey. Well, I'll uh, tell you what, just commit a crime and then you're constantly on the run. Aye, 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 aye that's aye, what, that's you, what you do. You stay slim that way, lads. Oh, aye, always, always running about and hi hiding and you didn't have time to eat that way. Aye, that's right, aye, that's, that's a good solution. Aye. <laughs> aye. Stop being a bunch of lazy buggers aye. and get outside Stop and get so running. honest. <laughs> aye. Uh, okay, well, thank you for the, the colourful answer there, gentlemen. Um, maybe some parting words for our lovely audience back at home? Any parting comments? Well, there's only two major food groups. Eating animals and drinking whiskey. If it doesn't fall into that, you can f*** off. And once again, we do apologise for any colourful language you heard during that um, segment. We do not um, agree with nor condone any criminal activities. Please do not break the law. The thoughts and opinions of Jock McClop and Bob Ag McTavish do not represent the World Television Federation and any of its partners. They could be described as outdated. Thank you for tuning in to World Television Federation. I have been Stevie Shoeshaft. And I am Robert Rootlong. Welcome to WTF. And remember to stick to the standard operating procedures. Good production? Yes, yes, so more water apparently. Yes, yeah, exactly, and uh, those two characters were very colourful, weren't they? Yeah, it was very colourful, very spiffy. I don't, we're very, very lucky that uh, they didn't say too much. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I'm glad the camera is now not rolling and we can talk because that was f***ing ridiculous. It was absolutely outrageous out there, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, all this nonsense about offending people, I, I was, I've, I've been very careful not to offend people because it was saving them from diabetes. That's not true. Yeah. That's no longer true. And you know, all these rivers are talking about, I like going into the river to pee in the river. Exactly, Never exactly. To drink that and other people yes. pee in it. This is outrageous. I, mean, I like to float my boat. Yes. I always like to float my boat. I and mean, saying that's no longer important. It's actually drinking the water. Well, whatever floats your boat. But mm. yes, this is, I'm not sure I believe what these men white coats say. Let, let's find out who, uh, who wrote these reports and go punch them in the kidneys. Yeah. Mm. Sure shot. Yeah. I'm sure. That's what they'll call me. It's not Stevie Sure Shot, it's Stevie Sure Shot. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean to say that you can't go float your boat. <laughs> what I said is funny. <laughs> 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 oh, <shit. laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the World Television Federation. I've been Stevie Sure Shaft. I am Robert Rufflong. <laughs> 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 all right, well, how can we get through all of this without fucking laughing? Right, come on, two seconds. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the fact that I'm laughing. I have been Stevie Shurshaft. I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you sound like, I have been, like yeah, you've yeah. been sure shafted. <laughs> <laughs>